So your channel is not because of the video thing for us. I did not come every year. I came in 2019 to Latvia, and I was the only other time to table hockey. Uh, so, not that often. But was it difficult for me to come here because of the current era of coronavirus in the world? What you have to do to be here? Uh, it wasn't difficult. I needed a negative PCR COVID test, taking less than 72 hours of arrival in Ukraine. Uh, yeah, that. Oh, and uh, travel health insurance for COVID, which I got. That was all. I came here on uh, I arrived on Friday, so two days ago. I stayed for stayed for nine days. The whole trip is ten days. Was it difficult for you to adjust to our uh, clock clock uh, system? Because uh, you know there's a big difference between uh, Ukraine and yes. the USA. Uh, I did not, not no problem. Uh, you slept in the plane? Uh, a little. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are your impressions about the uh, tournament, about the level of participants, and uh, have you expected something like this? Or maybe expectations were less than uh, that you saw in the tournament? I knew the skill level was very high. So you can't turn good at table hockey. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was not ready. Uh, I had not played this good competition. Mm -hmm. Since February, so yeah, I, uh, I expected it, and it's, it was yeah. Uh, did you watch some translation, online translation uh, by Ukrainian Federation about Ukrainian tournaments uh, to watch a level of uh, playing of Ukrainian uh, best players? Uh, like, uh, on the internet or yeah, internet translation. Yeah, I uh, watch uh, live stream. Key of Championships, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the translation, uh, not in Ukrainian. But. Can you compare the real level of uh, Ukrainian table hookers, uh, table hockey players, and uh, American? Uh, <laughs> Ukrainian it's like is, a sky and grow. Ukrainian is very smooth, very nicely done, skilled, um, and uh, American is uh, more aggressive and. Uh, not no center moves most of the time. Okay. And the Americans play a little bit fast, faster as I. Uh, yes, uh, reckless. They are not as uh, smart. Okay. <laughs> uh, what place did you expect to, uh, to see to see today? Because uh, it seems to me that the level of your playing is uh, much higher than the place you you see to be placed. Ah, uh, I was uh, uh, I'm not sure how I would do. Um, I thought I'd do higher than how I did. Uh, that was, yeah, I um, struggled at first. Um, yeah, I uh, did not do as well as I thought I would. Um, yeah. When did you begin playing table hockey? How many years ago? Uh, I started playing in 2018. Uh, my first turn in March 2018. So it's less than three years, yes? Uh, it spans three years. Yes. What was your best uh, performance uh, on the tournament in Korea? Uh, my best performance in the tournament was uh, 2019 U.S. Sting and Shootout. Mm -hmm. Fourth place out of 44 participants. Fourth place. Fourth place. Fourth. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have some teacher uh, in table hockey? Maybe. Um, Sparring, sparring partner, um. uh, on the other side of Michigan, uh, Paul Shavi and Ryan Marshall. Paul Shavi, number one in North America, a teacher. Yeah, okay, Paul Shavi, it seems to me it's a fanatic, fanatic player in table hockey because he can do an online of his trainings uh, yeah. during five or six years uh, in a row, uh, years, hours in a row, and uh, it's the uh, highest level of fanatic. Uh, what can you say about his uh, attitude? Uh, yeah, he's very, 
He's a very passionate player. Um, he, yeah, he loves to play. Um, he's very dedicated. Uh, yeah. He's, uh, Do you have some plans for your American national team to take place, uh, to take part in uh, some big tournaments like a World Championship? Not, not like, uh, I mean, exactly, World Championship. Right now, with the situation with COVID, is unsure, but uh, Paul Shabi plans on making it. I want to make it. It'll depend on the travel restrictions. Um, so, and Kevin Rafferty, he is unsure. So, I think just the three of us who are. But you need five players to uh, take part uh, in yes, the yes. Uh, uh, team competitions. No, no uh, American team. No chance. No chance to see the American team in the time. Unfortunately, no. Uh, okay, what's your favorite combination on table hockey? Uh, the thing that uh, you do with uh, you? Ah, yeah, I like center moves. Um, uh, knock, uh, knock a Spias. Mm -hmm. But you have to train Spias uh, more time uh, to be more stable than now. Uh, I it is alright. Um, when I first did the knock out speed, I struggled, but now it's gotten a lot better in the last year or two. Mm -hmm. Who are your favorites in table hockey? Maybe you have some favorite players, you see some uh, games on the internet and YouTube? Uh, Edgar Sykes has always been one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, Edgar Sykes, uh, he's really been, he's who I watched when I started, just started playing, he's my motivation. Uh, yeah, and, uh, in North America, Kevin Rafferty, when I first started playing, he was, I thought he was, he was motivation. Who was the best Ukrainian players uh, you, faced, you have faced today in the tournament? Uh, the top four ranked, uh, uh, Corabel, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, uh, you don't have even try to call, to tell my surname. Uh, so the best four was uh, impressed for you. Impressed for you. Okay, what's your uh, aim in table hockey? Real, some real goals or tasks that you put inside uh, yourself? Um, that's a good question. Um, I want to become the best, maybe the best North America someday. Uh, be the number one and two with Paul Shabby. And I want to play in the World Championship eventually. So it may be this summer, but we will see. So. How many time you spend, you spend, how many time you dedicate into your trainings uh, in little, little numbers? So uh, some hours per week or maybe hour per day? It depends. If, it is, if it's before a tournament, there's a lot, but if it's not before a tournament, I'm not as dedicated. I want to train more, especially when I compete at a higher level. So I would say a few hours a week. Do you study in some univer American university or you work? I work full time, not, do not study right now. What's your occupation, basic education? I work at a steel plant in Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. I am a steel, steel, steel. and metal, uh -huh. the steel industry. Um, steel industry, yes. Yeah. Okay, thanks for coming and uh, hope to see you in the big tournaments in Ukraine again. Thank you, it was a pleasure.